get the bottom line, though, from George Stephanopoulos, chief Washington correspondent, and of course, host of this week. Good morning, George. Good morning, Late Kate. Night. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> so, am I going to be so the American much. Idol judge this morning? Yes, please. Would, would you just give us your straight scoop? What do you think? Uh, you know, it was, it was it was a great night. I think you guys are exactly right. I mean, I've been going to these dinners for more than 20 years now, and the crush last night was unlike any uh, I had ever seen uh, before. I think you also learned uh, something about the president and, and and who are going to be the targets of the late night comedians by who the president chose to uh, pick out last night. It looks like Joe Biden is a pretty safe laugh line. Uh, for anybody r for right now. <laughs> Hillary uh, got her share and also uh, Michelle Obama's arms. I think they're going to become a staple of the late night comics right. as well. Right. I have to ask though, there was a lot of ribbing of Republicans. Do you think it ever crossed the line yeah. or are they getting any? The, the, the president, you know, there's always, it's always difficult to get this mix of it. The president has to be self-deprecating, but also take some zingers at his opponents. I think he was right, right on the edge of doing a little bit more to his opponents than himself, but I think he kept it certainly within the bounds, and it was funny last night. I, I, I do think there was one Wanda Sykes joke uh, last night where she compared Rush Limbaugh to the uh, 20th hijacker, uh, saying that he missed the flight because he was strung out on Oxycontin, and that's already drawing some heat. Uh, from conservative blogs. And, you know, Rush Limbaugh's a big guy. He can take care of himself. He certainly uh, sends out a lot of zingers, but you could hear a few groans in the room at that one.